Good evening. Welcome back. Hey, you got any weekend plans? Here's what you need to know about what's coming our way weather-wise to keep things going. Toasty temps and steamy dew points, much like what we had today, although a little steamier as we go into tomorrow. By Sunday, the steam level is at an all-time high, and the storms are going to roll in. That could be strong to severe. Those are our headlines going into the weekend. Saturday looking like the driest day. Sunday, a little stormy. This is what we've got right now. Looks great out there. Plenty of sunshine, a few clouds rolling through, but nothing to stop the night from being pretty fantastic for us across the board. Temperatures on our mezzanine sitting somewhere in the low to mid 80s. So that's pretty comfortable for us here tonight. We're going to keep that going a few degrees warmer as we get into the next couple of days. We did get a little closer towards those mid to upper 80s here earlier this afternoon. Some 86s, some 87s on the map. It was a nice one for us across the bluegrass. Tomorrow we're going to try to get you close to 90 degrees in some spots. Mid to upper 80s again, very likely. We keep the sun around long enough, we could hit that 90 degree mark. And then Sunday, we're going to the mid to upper 80s again but clouds and the chance for storms could knock these temperatures down a little bit. So this is a little iffy going into the rest of this weekend. Overall, a great one, though. Mostly dry Saturday. Scattered storms come in for your Sunday, and that's what we're going to have to talk about as we get into the rest of this forecast. Now, Sunday, you can see the muggy meter going above 70. That's oppressive. Tomorrow, in the mid-60s, right where those dew points were today. So nothing outrageous for us, but you're, notice, you're going to notice the difference as we get into our Sunday. The next big thing is the chance for the storms coming in. Tomorrow, most of that activity is going to stay to the west, not dealing with any of that. But Sunday, we've got a level 2 risk for scattered severe storms across most of Kentucky. It's eastern Kentucky that's in the level 1 risk zone. Either way, a good chance to see some activity there with some severe storms. May even see some of it roll into our Monday for eastern Kentucky as we're seeing a possibility of highlighted severe weather in eastern Kentucky as this system continues into the start of next week. Wind, hail, the two main threats. Can't rule out an isolated tornado or some heavy rainfall that could lead to some localized flooding, but for the most part, those are our two things, wind and hail, as this system comes in. Early Saturday morning, we see a complex of storms to the northwest. That's why western Kentucky is inside a chance for some severe weather there as we head into Saturday afternoon. We're just going to stay partly cloudy to mostly cloudy going into Sunday morning. And then a line comes through that could bring us the stronger storms. It looks like mainly in the afternoon, Sunday between say noon and 8 p.m. It's a little wide on the range because we've still got a whole day or so for this to develop and move in. That moves off to the east and then we can already see another cell potential developing off to the west to get us going into our Monday. So download the Fox 56 Weather Authority app. It's going to have all the latest updates on there. Plus, if we do get some severe weather Sunday, you can get the alerts right to your phone. Severe weather warnings, watches, all of the good stuff coming right in on that. That seven-day forecast is going to keep us busy, though, too, as we get into next week. The next big thing, comes in with the storms. Monday, we're going to see scattered storms come in, but look at those temps. 83, the cold front, is going to knock us down into the mid-80s for Tuesday. It's going to bring us a lot less humidity. Still a slight chance for storms there. Then Wednesday looks fantastic. You can't be mad about 86 and partly cloudy for the middle of next week. We start to see the warmer temperatures slowly creep back in Thursday and Friday with a couple more storm chances in the mix, too, as we get in towards the end of next week.